the next major Android version, Android O, brings a lot of changes and features that really refine the already mature Android platform. However, if you have been wondering about when your device will get the Android O update, well, let me tell you that the wait can be pretty long. In fact, very, very long. Don't worry, you don't have to wait to try out the new Android O features. Hey guys, this is Rupesh from vbomb.com and today I'm going to show you how you can get various Android O features on your Android smartphone. Before we get started, make sure to hit the bell icon to get notifications for all our future videos. Now that you've done that, let's get started. As of now, the Android O beta has only introduced one new wallpaper, which shows you a cool new view of the earth. Well, it's really cool. And if you want to get an Android O look on your device, you should apply it on your device. We have included a link to it in the description below. Also, if Google adds more wallpapers to Android O in the future, we'll make sure to add it to a link below. And if you'd like more wallpapers from Google, why not install the official wallpapers app from Google? The launcher on Android O is just the Pixel launcher that was introduced with the Pixel devices last year. While you can install the Pixel launcher extracted from the Android O preview, we'll suggest you to use the Nova launcher to get the same look on your device. It's simple, you can just go to the Play Store, install the Nova launcher and open it. In the opening page setup, choose your theme as light, the app drawer style as immersive, and select the swipe up gesture to open up app drawer. Now just head to Nova settings and change the Google search widget to the one in the Pixel launcher. Also make sure to install the Pixel icon pack and apply it from settings, look and feel. Now you can just set the Nova launcher as the default home screen and you will see the same Android OSQ home screen and app drawer. And it looks really cool. One of the best features of Android O is notification dots. This brings a subtle dot on apps in the home screen that signify there's a notification in the app. I really like it and the good news is you can get it on almost any phone out there. For this, you'll need the latest beta of the Nova launcher and the prime version of the app. I'll leave a link to the Nova launcher beta APK in the description below. Then go to Nova settings. Here scroll down and tap on the notification badges option. Here just choose dots from the different styles available. Also set the position of the dot to the top right and select the size as medium to match the notification dots from Android O. Well, there you have it. You now have the Android O style notification dots on your device. Now this looks good and is pretty useful. Android has always had a superior notification center when compared to the competition. And it gets better with Android O. Along with other features, Android O brings the ability to snooze notifications. Well, there's nothing to worry. There are a couple of apps that bring you the functionality on any Android device. Firstly, it's the Notif Log Notification History app. Just install it, give it notification access, and enable the floaty feature in the app which brings you a separate notification center available from a specific part of the status bar. Now in this notification center, you can swipe left on a notification to get options to snooze the notification for 10 or 30 minutes or more. Very similar to how you snooze notifications in Android O. The other app is Boomerang Notifications, which integrates with the Android's notification center. When you dismiss a notification after you have the app enabled, it asks you if you want to save this notification for later or save it along with a reminder. While it works differently than Android O, it's still pretty handy. Android O has a cool hidden trick in the system UI tuner page, which lets you add additional buttons to the navigation bar. While the Android O feature isn't very mature, 
we have the great custom navigation bar app which lets you set customized additional buttons. You'll first have to set up the app though. So make sure you have ADB on your PC or Mac. Now go to developer options on your Android smartphone and enable USB debugging. Once you've done that, connect your phone to your computer and open up terminal or command prompt. Here type ADB devices to check if your device is connected or not. Then enter the command ADB shell. After that, enter the command shown in the app to give the app right secure settings permission. Don't worry, I'll leave all the commands and the link to ADB in the description below. After you're done, the custom navigation bar should open up and here you can just go to the navigation bar option. Here you'll find options for extra left button and an extra right button. You can choose the action for these buttons like open notification shade, launch app, etc. There are a lot of options here. You can also select an icon for it and even choose a double tap action. These additional buttons on the navigation bar should come in very very handy. Among various other nifty features, Android brings a feature that automatically enables Wi-Fi when you are at a location where you've previously connected to a network. As you might have guessed, there's a capable alternative for it on other devices. The smart Wi-Fi toggler app not only automatically enables Wi-Fi when you are near a known network, it also automatically disables Wi-Fi when you move away from the network range, thus saving battery as well as your mobile data bandwidth. The smart Wi-Fi toggler app brings a number of other smart features, so you should definitely check it out. Yes, Android O finally brings a picture-in-picture -picture mode to Android so that you can easily watch videos from YouTube and other app in a floating window while multitasking with ease. However, there are a number of apps that bring the same functionality on other versions of Android. I like the Float Tube Video Player app. The app lets you play YouTube videos in a floating window so that you can easily play a YouTube video while multitasking through different apps. Along with YouTube videos, the app even lets you play your local videos in a floating window. Google has finally brought new emojis to Android, with Android O packing emojis that have a similar circular look that is standard across other platforms and messaging apps. However, if you can't wait to get the emojis on your phone, you can flash a zip file through a custom recovery on your rooted device and get all the new Android emojis right now. Once you flash the zip on your rooted Android smartphone, the new Android emojis will replace your current Android emojis. I'll leave a link to the flashable zip file in the description below. While I like the lock screen on stock Android, there was no way to change the shortcuts at the bottom in Marshmallow or Nougat. Well, that changes with Android O. With the latest Android iteration, you can finally set custom lock screen shortcuts. Sadly, on Nougat, Marshmallow or Lollipop, there's no real concrete way to set custom lock screen shortcuts. However, you can get a third-party lock screen app like Microsoft Next Lock Screen, which lets you add numerous app shortcuts and toggles. It's not the same, but it should do. Well, those were some Android features that you can get on your Android device right now. The links to all the apps and the files will be in the description below. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it, Comment if you have any doubts and also subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.